Hi guys, here's Peter and welcome to the, a bit different format which I normally record. So you know, I normally I record my screen this time. You can see me, you can also see me with the board behind me. And I know in last weeks I was not really much active because we are going through some virus crisis, we know that. Plus also I am establishing a new company, an investment fund, which is somehow focused on crypto assets. So it takes a lot of effort and time for me. On the other hand, you know that I am forever fan of RNG Roulette and I will play that also forever, I guess. So therefore I'm trying to also bring some other interesting stuff for you. Today I'd like to share with you some, let's say, special algorithm and money management, which I was working on last weeks and maybe months to find out where we can really maybe sacrifice a little bit that we are not playing so often. On the other hand, we significantly increase our chance of winning maybe only within 16 spins or something like that. So you can see that on the board how the new app and system looks like, what I develop reflecting this new approach. And I'm going to share with you some details. Maybe it will be interesting also for you. For example, I changed money management. So I am playing with 16 spins and there is no levels while you, level is always one. So I'm playing only 16 spins and no levels approach. I'm using some percentage how to calculate the progression, progressiveness. Aggressiveness of the progression is something like 3.7, exact number. Plus also I'm using variance from average three and two levels. This is the basic new money management for this new approach and complete new algorithm. Plus I'm also evaluating something what I call like last confirm non-hit, which means for example, your pattern 0, 10, 20, 30 has currently non-hit 10. If one of these four numbers is coming now, so your confirm non-hit is 10 and you start probably new non-hit once you are generating more numbers. So once your non-hit for current pattern is, for example, 10, your number, one of these four will come which means your non-hit currently is zero, but the last one, which was confirmed, which means number came, is 10. And then you are counting the new non-hit value. I'm using one of these parameters for my parameters of the app, plus I'm evaluating, I would say, rather complex algorithm and conditions, how to find another way, an additional way, the proper pattern to bet on, I'm not using just this last confirm, but this is the first step to understand a certain value of this last confirm non-hit. And the second part is also I'm evaluating some frequency of hitting and non-hitting in a certain, let's say, number of spins. It's a rather complex thing, right? But it helps me really to find the best spot when to bet because I'm not betting all the time. And also, I have a boundary, so I can say if the value of the certain hitting frequency and last confirm non-hit is this value, then let's bet. And I'm representing, showing you in the current app setup what works the best for me. I was running really maybe 70,000 test spins and I was not able to break that break it. I mean, then I always try the new system algorithm to break it and I can see the, some minus values and bank say, saying then it's maybe not the best one. But this time I was not really able to break it. Of course, there were drawdowns, ups and downs, but in the end, after so many thousand spins, it was still in plus, which is a very perfect. I think maybe you already know that, but if you are looking for the system or app where you start entering the spins and generating spins and your bankroll will just grow up, you can't find it. It doesn't exist. So therefore, if you see something after 100,000 spins and it's still in plus, it's a perfect system which you found and you can bet on that and rely on that. So I hope in this quick video and showing you this approach would help you and I will be happy to see you next time. Bye bye.